Hey, it's Carl. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to talk about how you can sell your artwork via consignment. Now, there are retailers out there that don't actually have any money to buy art, but the flip side to that is that they actually have a lot of volume in terms of traffic. So it is, in some cases, a good opportunity. However, don't get sucked into the exposure myth. And for me, for the most part, I'm not really interested in exposure as much as I am in actually making sales from my art. So the best thing to do is to make sure that you do your homework. So here's how it works. Now you could go contact a coffee shop. It could be a restaurant. It could even be a commercial gallery. So what you want to do is be able to house your artwork in their establishment and of course, they contribute to helping you make the sale because they have the traffic, they have the volume of people coming through. So in that case, you may come to an agreement that you can pay them a commission or a part share. It could be anywhere from 10%, 20%, 30% or even 50%, it depending on the circumstances. Now, you really need to choose wisely. And ideally, what you want to be doing is actually choosing establishments that have had some success or at least had uh, some experience in selling art or representing art. So you want to actually make sure that you visit personally if you're going to do it locally to begin with and make sure that you've actually had a good conversation with the owners of the establishment and assess their background in terms of what artists have been in there, what was the success like, what's the traffic volume that actually comes through the establishment as well. Now, the most important thing as well is that you've got to make sure that you have a very solid contract in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump off the camera here and I'm going to go down to my computer and actually go through a contract that I've used and you can actually download. I'll give you uh, uh, the opportunity to be able to grab a copy of that so you can use it for yourself if you are going to consider selling your art via consignment. Okay, so let me jump onto my computer and we'll actually go through the details of that contract. So here we have the contract and on the first page, on the top of the first page, on the left hand side you should have the photograph of the piece of artwork that you will be displaying and on the right side there the title of your piece of work as well and also just the other details in regards to size and also the pricing. So you want to provide as much information as you can, uh, that way it becomes a very transparent uh, contract uh, because not only do you have a a visual of the piece of work that you're displaying but you also have all the details as well that's the expectation that the owner of the establishment will have or at least you have of them to maintain that with the piece of work that they're displaying now if we go through the agreement in terms of consignment it says uh, this is a written agreement to be witnessed and signed by the owners of the establishment before the commencement of any works of art um, by you being displayed within the premises and the owners of the property are signing this agreement with the full knowledge and understanding as to the principles associated to the mounting of works of art owned by yourself in their premises and the establishment or the owners of the property are also signing this agreement and understanding that this agreement is valid for the duration of the paintings and it could also be photographs as well not necessarily paintings being kept within the premises being 90 days from the signing of this agreement. Now, it could also be uh, 30 days or it could be longer. It could be a couple of months, but that will really depend on the circumstances in the agreement that you've made with the owners of the establishment. And then moving down, the owners of the establishment agree to notify the artist no later than 48 hours of any works having been sold. So ideally, what you want to be able to, to do is to follow up with the people that have actually um, made a purchase of your art because ideally you want to make um, contact with them and get the communication going. And also if the artwork is coming off the wall so it can go to its new owner, you want to be notified so that you can make uh, new pieces of work available to go up on the wall as well. Um, now they also agree that the work of art detailed within the agreement will be sold for the retail price of exactly the price and no less than the figure specified and there's a little bit more about that further down uh, the owners of the establishment agreed to receiving no more and no less than 10% commission on the sale of each works of art now this could be anywhere up to 
30%, even 50%. It really depends on the agreement that you've made with the owner, what you deem as being fair. And also it comes down to their level of commitment. Uh, are they experienced in terms of selling art? If it's a, a commercial gallery, uh, chances are they are. So it may be in some cases be a 50-50 split, but you're going to be able to determine that and have that conversation with the owners. The owners of the establishment agree to never under any circumstance hype the price or index the price or sell less than the price indicated or provide false information relating to any piece of art. So ideally you want to be able to establish that there is a agreed range in terms of where you'll go with price. Now you may decide that you will allow them to discount if need be as a bit of incentive. Now generally as a rule of thumb I don't really uh, endorse discounting your work but it's really going to depend on you know what what the circumstances are for you and what you're going to allow the owners of the establishment to uh, do in terms of discounting your art or providing some form of incentives but generally you don't want them over hyping and also you don't want them inflating the price and sort of running away with a little bit more margin that you don't know about and that of course comes down to making sure that you're communicating with them very well uh, the owners agree to reimburse the artist 100% of the value of works of art should the owner or the clientele be responsible for the damages associated to the artwork held under this agreement. So that could be things like fire, theft, um, or damages associated during transport or if they're remounting or transporting the art, and also the public handling of the works of art. So for example, if you've got a restaurant or a cafe, um, if their clientele, the people that come in to eat, are playing with the with the art if they're touching the art or if art or if they're at fault for damaging the art then of course the owner of the establishment is responsible for that as well and the owners agree to notify the artist and associated owners of the pieces of art having been damaged no later than 24 hours of the event having taken place and then it goes to say that the the owners agree to reimburse the artist 100% of the value of any works in the event of the works of art having been stolen from the premises. Now if you have any pieces of work that's stolen from the premises, I would say that's not such a bad thing in, in relation to uh, someone finding your art worthy enough to steal it, that's pretty good. But uh, in all seriousness, if your art did get stolen, of course, then it becomes the responsibility of the owner of the establishment and it's their requirement to notify you and to notify you within 24 hours of course and then it says that the owners of the establishment agree that the paintings were delivered in good condition and also have they have inspected the works of art and found them to be without any major fault so when you actually meet with the owner of the establishment and you bring in your works of art it's best that you both together go through the artwork and inspect them properly and thoroughly while you're filling out this contract and signing off. And the owners of the establishment agree to leave the for sale and information labels mounted and or directly adjacent to the artwork at all times as a clear indication to the public as to the artist details and associated costs to the works of art. So one, you want to be transparent with the public. You want to be able to provide as much information as you can to them. Um, but also it's a marketing tool. So you want to be uh, making sure that they're aware of who you are and it's your branding tool that's on the wall as well. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, I don't really believe in the exposure myth. So make sure you do your homework in terms of doing consignments. Uh, you want to make sure that they have a certain level of experience in regards to having artwork on their walls before and that they've had experience in terms of selling artwork as well. So they want to have a bit of a track record there. And lastly, down the bottom here, um, the owners of the establishment have signed below an agreement to the terms and conditions associated here within. So, of course, this, this is where they'll sign and, of course, print out their name and sign the date as well. Um, if there are two owners that need to sign, um, then you'll need to get both of them to do that as well. Uh, the name of the establishment and the address and the phone number. And, of course, down the bottom, uh, your name, the artist's name, and you'll need to sign off as well. Now, you keep a copy, and of course, you give the owner of the establishment a copy, and there you pretty much have it. 
Um, as I mentioned, do your homework with this. You can uh, download a copy of this and you can pretty much put in the details to suit your circumstances. So in terms of your commission structures, you of course want to change them. If um, what's already written here is not applicable to you, you can make the changes where you deem uh, worthy. But if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. And also please, if you can, subscribe to this channel, um, if that's what you do, of course. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, watching and we'll see you next time.